January 20th is right around the corner. And if you're not sure why this day is important and why you should be paying attention, this is our inauguration day for the 46th president of the United States, President-elect Joe Biden. In the midst of ongoing regulations with the COVID-19 pandemic, traditional inauguration day celebrations have been canceled for our inauguration of our next president. One of these is the traditional inauguration day parade, which is a massive gathering of individuals from around the country and the world to celebrate a peaceful transition of power and a new individual in the White House. This parade has been all out canceled by the incoming Biden administration because of COVID-19 regulations. And instead they will be hosting a virtual parade to celebrate the new presidency. This looks an awful lot to me like last year's virtual Democratic National Convention, where we saw hours upon hours upon hours of performances from Hollywood elites, musicians, and celebrities. Sure, it definitely attracted a lot of attention to the event, but honestly didn't at all address the concerns of the American people in what they're looking for as a leader during such a turbulent time in American history. If you watched the Democratic National Convention last year, you probably agree with me that the fanfare was glittery, sure, but it failed to address the hardship that Americans of everyday life are going through in 2020 and now entering into 2021. We're experiencing mass unemployment and unprecedented mental health crisis and suicide levels through the roof for almost every demographic in the United States of America. Maybe instead of focusing so much on a fancy glittery Hollywood studded virtual parade with political and cultural elites, the incoming Biden administration should be focusing on how they can serve the American people by reopening our society, encouraging people to go back to work safely, of course, and within their realm of comfortability, but a choice that is up to them, not to their government. We're tired of hearing from millionaires and billionaires who don't follow their own legal regulations surrounding this pandemic when it comes to the choices we can make in our own lives. If you really care about the future of America for every single individual, for the working class, for the middle class. Stop focusing so much on your virtual parade and instead show up where it counts for the American people.